hello guys welcome back to another video of automation test insider so today i'm going to talk about an important topic that is defect life cycle and this is an important interview question as well guys so whether you are doing manual testing or automation testing you should know what is a defect life cycle so basically you should understand what are the various stages of a defect so guys earlier we have spoken about what do you mean by defect what is defect report template and in the last video we have spoken about what is defect priority and defect severity so today we'll focus on what do you mean by defect life cycle so let's get started so defect life cycle also known as bug life cycle is the journey of a defect cycle which a defect goes through during its lifetime so this is also known as bug life cycle so defect life cycle or bug life cycle is the journey of a defect basically so it goes through various status correct so uh, while talking about defect report template guys we have spoken about a status column so when we raise the defect we have various stages of a defect various status of a defect right so when we raise the for, for the first time so the status of the defect would be new and then when it is assigned to any particular developer so the status of the defect would be open and then they will work on the defect so they will assign uh, they will make the status to fixed and they will assign it back to the testing team and the status of the defect would be retest so these are the various stages of a defect guys various status of a defect whether we are logging the defect in the manual uh, using manual process using excel sheet we have a status column there we will change the status of the defect every time when we work on the defect any team when we uh, when they work on the defect sheet right or using any bug tracking tool also so we have to change the status accordingly accordingly so this is nothing but the various stages of a defect guys so this is defect life cycle so defect life cycle is cyclic process which describes how a defect or bug passes through different stages from the identification of defect stage to the fixing of the defect stage correct to the fixing stage it begins it begins when a tester finds or logs a bug and it ends when bug is fixed so this is nothing but the defect life cycle guys so it goes through various stages of the cyclic in, in the cyclic process from the identification of the defect to the fixing of the defect now let's talk about defect life cycle in detail like what are the various status of a defect so whenever we test any func uh, whenever we test any application and if any functionality is not working as expected so that means that is a defect right so we have to raise that uh, defect in the excel worksheet if you are following the manual process or using bug tracking tool so what is the first st status of the defect so the first status of the defect would be new now we have uh, we have raised the defect now we, we have to assign it to the development team right so it will be fixed by the development team using any particular developer right they will it will be fixed by any particular developer so the status of the defect would be open when we assign it to any particular developer so the next status is open now they will work on the fixes they will work on the defect and they will fix the defect so the status of the defect would be fixed and they will assign it back back to the testing team now it is our responsibility as a tester we have to rework on the defect we have to retest the defect so what is the status of the defect this time uh, at this stage retest now while retesting the defect if we find that uh, if we find that if defect is not working as expected if it is not working as expected so we will reopen the defect we will reopen the defect and assign it to development team so the next status is reopen and we will assign it to development team so they have to rework on their fixes and once again they will fix the defect they will uh, make the changes to their code and then they will assign it back to testing team again we have to retest the defect and if it is working this time if it is working as expected so what is the last it is status of the defect guys if it is working fine they will then we will close the defect which is the last status of the defect 
so this is the complete uh, defect life cycle guys apart from this we have some other status of the defect other statuses as well like if they are not accepting the defect if developer is not accepting the defect so they may reject the defect as well if they say that defect is if they not accept the defect so they will reject the defect so the status of the defect would be rejected and then again we have to like follow whether uh, it is really a valid defect or not we have to assess that right whether we have logged the correct defect or not in case if still if you find that if it is a valid defect then we have to uh, show case them to the like uh, steps to reproduce and they will make it as again open right we will assign it to any particular developer but in case if they find that if a defect is not valid defect so they may reject the defect as well another status of the defect would be duplicate if any defect is matching with any previous defect if any defect is matching with any previous defect so they will the developer will make it as duplicate defect and we have one more status deferred deferred status so if any defect is not that much important uh, important to fix in this particular cycle so we may, we may fix that into the next cycle so that's why we have another status called deferred state now one more status we have guys not a bug so if any defect does not impact the functionality much right so we have another uh, status not a bug we have another status called not a bug so these are the various stages of a defect life cycle guys so this is complete defect life cycle now let me just recap what we have discussed so far so new new uh, what are the disc uh, what are the various status we have discussed so far so what is new status so new defect is reported is called new status we have open state right open status of a defect so the developer is currently working on the defect that is open state what is fixed the code changes are completed and the defect is resolved that is fixed status deferred developers uh, develop, developers will fix the defect later in the next cycle so that is deferred status duplicate the defect is same like one of the previous defect when previous defect is fixed it is also fixed so that is duplicate defect retest the tester starts the task of retesting the defect to verify if the defect is fixed or not so that is retest rejected developers did not accept the defect is rejected defect close after retest if defect is working correctly so that means that is the status of the that is the status of the defect would be close reopen after retest if defect is still exists then we reopen the defect and at last we have not a bug if defect does not have an impact on the functionality of the application then the status of the defect gets changed to not a bug so this is complete uh, uh, discussion about the defect life cycle guys if you still have some doubts or questions then please write your questions in the comment box of this video and please like and share this video and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe this channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos thank you so much have a nice day bye bye